on and welcome back to another Soul Hunters Awakening video and today it's Avior's big day. It's the day to finally awaken and become the dragon that he was meant to be, alright? Because this is not what this guy was meant to be. We already know that. He's definitely going to awaken today. But here's the thing guys, you cannot obviously awaken a hero unless he's orange, right? So that's number one, you guys should already know that you cannot awaken a hero at orange. So what I gotta do now is fuse, which kind of sucks because uh, it's gonna take me two of my shurikens here. And those things are not easy to find, but I have no choice. I have to give it to my dragon here, Avior, and there it is, finally at orange. I can actually bring him to orange plus one, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're not gonna do that just yet. We're going to just go ahead and start his awakening right now. Let's go. Boom, there we go. Quest number one. We gotta get the venomous spike. So this guy is a poisonous dragon, which is pretty dope. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Um, but he's very defensive. And I'll show you what I mean by that a little bit later on when we do some battles. But for now, we're gonna start off by finally getting his item here and it looks like I need another shuriken here which kind of sucks that was going to be my last one and uh scepter of the abyss I have a lot of those all right guys so we need 80 pieces for the poisonous crystal here which is a chapter 14 so let's go ahead keep sweeping for this and I will be back in a roughly couple of weeks to continue this on so by then I should be a lot more handsomer a lot older and let's go all right guys so here we are it's been a while longer eight days to ten days am i handsomer i don't know you be the judge of that but i did get the venomous spike here for avior so we're going to continue on the quest we've got his ultimate item now let's go and see what his second quest is and it's bountiful caverns the title temple I've already done five out of six. So this is the last event for him. Let's finish off this one really quickly here and move on to the third part on our quest to finally awaken Avior. So let's begin. We're not going to sweep, but it's very simple stage here. Let's go with Leia. We're going to do all AoE type of damage. I, I am going to use the new hero, Sylphie, here because uh, she's a great and she's amazing. Let's go with Firehawk and I'm going to use Tanya in the front. This should be plenty of AoE damage here. So let's see how they do. Boom, look at her go. Tanya jumping into the midfield here. Now check out Avior's dragon there. A lot of people uh, might get to miss that real quick, but uh, the dragon is actually uh, really strong. And that's kind of his main uh, thing that he has. I really love him. That's his main skill that I really like about Avior is his dragon. Let's go with Sylphie's ultimate and see how much this chick will do. I mean, one of the best heroes in the game right now is definitely Sylphie. So, she's somebody to, um, you know, if you happen to have her, I'm sure that you've already upgraded her up to now. But, definitely, definitely work on her. But, this is not about Sylphie. She's hogging the spotlight here. This is all about Avior here. So, let's go with everybody's ultimate really quickly. Boom! Avior's ultimate will give everybody a shield. As you can see, they're all shielded up here. They're going to be immune for a bunch of hits, which is pretty dope. Um, I do love his ultimate for an arena battle. I'm thinking this guy is going to be really, really great in the arena. But for now, let's go. Go back. And there it is. I finally completed quest number two. Let's accept this one and check out quest number three. Quest number three. Teammates, Avior or his teammates cannot be killed. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't say. Avior must be the one to kill Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? This one kind of sucks. Alright guys, so this is going to be a little bit difficult, I can tell, because Avior is not the type of hero that you think is the, you know, deals the most damage. So him having to kill Mariana is going to be a little bit hard to kind of work out here. So let's see how the hell I'm going to do this. I'm definitely not going to use many heroes that deal a lot of damage though, that's... That's going to be hard. All right, let's go with Jasmine. Oi. Boy, this is a lot harder than I thought. All right, I'm going to use Ling Ling here for her defense. 
what I'm trying to avoid is heroes that are going to deal a lot of damage. I just don't want them to kill Mariano there. I only want Avior to do most of my damage here. Oh, let's go with Enrique. We haven't used him in a while. And for a tank, you know who I haven't used in a long time as a tank? I'm going to go with uh, Drago. Where's Drago? Let's go with Drago here. Drago and Enrique level 92. It might be enough. It might not be enough. But we'll see. Wow, this one I did not expect. I was hoping something like uh, him and all of his teammates surviving. But I do... The dragon going to the backside might be the key here because... You know, d depending on how much damage the dragon can do, he might be able to take out Mariana in the back there. But we'll find out. I need Jasmine here because Drago's taking a good amount of damage here. I need to heal him up really quickly. Alright. And that's it. All right, part number one is done here. Let's see what I'm going to do later on. Wow. It's going to be hard. Because <laughs> I have, I don't even have anybody here that, that's able to do any damage here. Uh, let's go with Jasmine, I guess. Deal some kind of damage here. Alright, I think the strategy that I'm going to do is I'm going to use Jasmine's ultimate, do a little bit of damage, and maybe hopefully that dragon will take her out, just like it did with Flora there. So, that's going to be, I think, the strategy here. If I can ever make it! Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's think about this real quick. Let's go with... Alright, I'm going to use Enrique... Put them all to sleep here. Let's go with Avior's ultimate. Alright, let's go with Ling Ling's ultimate as well. At this point, all ultimates are fine. Alright, I'm going to use Jasmine now because uh, Avior was close to dying there. Oh my god, no! I need that dragon! Yes! Dragon! What? Just happened. Uh, it got an X? Alright, that didn't make any sense. Because it was, I got an X at first, but then it turned into a check sign, which means I finished, I completed the stage because the dragon, yes, it's done, I've done it! I was a little bit scared there, because at first it was an X, but they switched it to um, a check sign. And now, there it is, guys, look at this, Awakened Avior. Wow, that looks phenomenal. Holy moly, this dude is awesome. What's changed about him? I mean, he's definitely greener. <laughs> he's green now, and he's got like a lightning rod as a horn. Whoa. I'm kind of digging that. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging this a lot. This dragon looks crazy awesome, guys. I mean, he's all chained up. His hands are all chained up. Holy shit, he looks phenomenal. Wow. Very, very impressive art. I'm loving his look right now. Very much so. Holy shoot. And there it is, finally awakened. Now, let's go and check out this guy's awakening ability here. Grip of Mortality. Avior consistently monitors the battlefield for an enemy with low health. When he's found his target, he grasps their soul, casting them loose. Wait, casting them to lose, causing them to lose health over time. This ability also weakens the effect of healing spells cast upon the enemy. So pretty much, I'm hoping... All right. So deals 100 damage over a period of 8 seconds. So let's upgrade this ability now all the way to the max. No, we don't want to do that. Now let's see. 133 damage over a period of 8 seconds. Doesn't seem like it's a lot. But it causes them not to heal up. Alright, alright. Let's just... I could promote him now, but I am not going to promote right now. What? Hold on, what was that? Alright, that was weird. I'm not going to promote him right now, guys, because, uh, like I said before, I'm working on Ling Ling and I'm working on Sylphie right now. So I'm saving my items. But what I will do is go and test them out in a little bit of a, a campaign battle again. And, um, you know, see exactly what this guy can do. Let's go to chapter 10, right in the middle here. And let's see. Let's take everybody out. I want one person in there, but nothing too difficult. 
Hmm. Let's go with... Crusher! Yeah! Let's put Crusher in there and see how this team will do. But I'm really curious about Aviar there, so... Oh, look at the shield! It's insane! There's the dragon. Boom! Wow, 7,000 damage? That's crazy! So I'm waiting for that ultimate here. When is it gonna come? So this guy dealing out a good amount of damage, I've noticed. I mean, maybe because the stage is weaker. Or I don't know what it is, but wow. He's definitely, definitely... Let's use his ultimate right now. Go ultimate. Boom! All armor. Oh my god, look at this shield. It's immune to everything. Nobody can touch me now. There it is! I just noticed his ultimate there. If you notice, he hit Ember with it. And, um... She pretty much will take a lot of damage over time. Or was it the other guy? Wh whoever he hit, yeah, Ember is dead now. Damage over time, a good amount, for 8 seconds. There it is again. Wow. Phenomenal. I mean, wow. This guy looks ridiculously good right now. Holy shit. There's the dragon. So he's got the dragon. He's got shield. And he's dishing out damage over time. I mean, he should. He looks like a poison dragon. Like, literally, this guy should be poisoning everything around him. And be a perfect teammate with Arachna. But, his see, he's got the three bars, the three shields. So they absorb a lot of the attacks here. So let's see how much they're going to absorb here. Look, it's all shields. Holy moly, this guy is a defensive wall. I can't wait to use this guy in my arena team. Because he seems phenomenal. Look at this shield. And there's that, um, his ability, his uh, ultimate ability there. Wow. Yo, look at the damage. And he's orange. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, very nice, very nice. That is quite impressive, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving Avior's awakening there. It's pretty dope. Woo. Where is he? Yeah, I'm very impressed with Avior's Awakening here, guys. This gives him a little bit more of a punch to his already defensive stats. So he's going to deal damage over time. Um, and all his other abilities here. I mean, this one is pretty dope. I mean, transfers 5,550 damage from each allied hero to himself. So he protects his allies. This is his dragon that deals a good amount of damage. Uh, the Ghost of the Fallen here is also another... Um, what is this one? Feast on the health lost by enemies and allies alike, strengthening his, his basic attack. So this one, I guess, basic attack deals 1,838 additional damage when second tier activated. And then dragon scale armor, increase each layer, physical armor by 120, 120 magic armor. So a defensive tank, I mean, wow, I really, really want to fuse this guy to orange plus one and use him on my goddamn team. But I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit longer, get him a little bit starred up, a little more. But I can't wait for his stars to come out and use this guy. So, I mean, if you guys are excited about Avior, uh, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you like this guy. Um, and that's about it, guys. This is the Awakening of Avior. I hope you enjoy that. I will see you guys on the next Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, guys. Peace out.